Hello, welcome back to Cursed Brains, in this video, I will be showing how you could get into Windows 10, if you lost your account password, I will be showing by creating an alternate admin account, to recover data, or reset the lost password. As you can see, this is the ease of access on the Windows login screen, the ease of access helps with the use of assistive settings. I will show how you can replace the ease of access, with a command prompt, which will help in creating an alternate admin account, for password and data recovery. You need a USB drive, with Windows 10 flashed on it, using the media creation tool. I will leave the links at the end of the description, to all the relevant things. Just a side note, you can use the following method on Windows 7, and 8 also. Get into the boot menu, clicking the respective key such as F12, and select the USB drive. You will see Windows 10 installation settings, ignore it, and click Shift plus F10, to open the command screen. Now using this command prompt, I will show how to replace the ease of access with a command prompt, follow the command lines on the screen carefully. I will write down all the commands in the description, for clear understanding. You can see an error, mentioning the system cannot find the path specified, if you encounter this error. Try each drive letter until you locate the correct drive letter. To make it quick, click the up arrow, it will copy the above code, and you just need to replace the drive letter. The following command, will rename the ease of access file with another name, to replace the command prompt in its place. This command, will copy the command prompt file, and rename with ease of access file. These all explanation might sound confusing, but it is for transparency and understanding. You may ignore it and follow the things on the screen. Once the steps are done, just reboot the system, with the following command. And there you can see, the ease of access options has been replaced, with the command prompt. From here, these commands will create a new admin user on the system, to recover data, or reset the lost password. The first command, creates a user and the second command will make it an admin, you can name the user with anything you want, in my case I named it as backup. As account creation is done, exit the command prompt, and restart the system for the user to be visible. And there you can see, a new user has been created named as backup, sign in. and we are inside the account. Now I will show how to reset the lost password. Using, Windows key, plus R, open run and enter the following command, to open user accounts. In the user accounts, you will find all the user accounts on Windows. You can see three accounts, the backup account previously created, and the other two are local admin, and email connected account. The difference between local admin, and email connected account is, you can reset the password for the local admin account, but you can't for the email connected account. For now, let's reset the local admin account, and later we'll show how to recover data, from the email connected account. 
For your information, in case your admin account is connected to an email, you can regain access by resetting the password on the Microsoft website and log in with a new password. Make sure you are connected to the internet. Sign out from the backup account and check if you can sign in through the new password for the local admin account. And you can see, the new password for the local admin account, is working successfully, and the account is recovered. Now you can access all your personal data, from all of the folders. Now, I will show how to access and recover data from an email connected admin account if in case you can't reset the password of the email or you don't have access to the email connected to the account. You have to get inside the user account through the C drive of the system. Depending on the user data, it will take time to open, be patient. As you get in, you will get access to all your data, from that user account, just copy them to the backup account. Now after everything is done, I will show how to remove the command prompt, from the ease of access menu, so others can't get access to your system. You need to get inside, the folder where the command prompt, and the ease of access files were replaced and renamed. The files are inside, Windows and System32 folders, find them, rename and replace those files, with their original names. You can also use the search option, to find the ease of access, and command prompt files, in my case I forget. And there you can see, both files. The command prompt file needs to be deleted, and the original ease of access file, must be renamed to its original name. Before renaming the file, make sure to get permission. That's it the ease of access has been restored, and the command prompt has been removed, now everything is done, a new admin account has been created to get back into your system, the password has been reset for a local admin account, data can be recovered, for the email connected account through users folder in the C drive. I'm not accountable for any misuse of this method, as it is a safety measure in an emergency, so kindly don't use this method to infiltrate someone's privacy, getting into other systems without owner concern, it may lead you to serious thanks for watching, hope you find this video helpful, if you have any doubts or questions, you can comment them below, make sure to like the video and subscribe my channel, also follow me on my social media, if you want to connect or contact me, just head over to the below of description.